A common request we get is to be able to have a left to right bias when you have a bunch of different uh, parameters within a pairing uh, property. For example, uh, if layover in Amsterdam, Athens, Brussels, Paris, and Stuttgart, it would be desirable to list in order left to right which ones you want first. Uh, not that this is a bad idea, but the fact that we can combine multiple uh, pairings together, multiple pairing properties together makes it difficult. It would uh, take quite a bit of modification. However, there are some tricks that actually make it relatively easy if you use the desktop application and even there's some tricks in the web-based application uh, to quickly put in such a bid. Uh, they have to be on individual lines as I'll show you, but it actually goes relatively quickly. This is the initial screen that you'll see at the beginning of every month of the desktop application. The desktop application can be downloaded from the uh, web-based application on the settings tab. There's quite a bit of documentation in the PBS gouge and the PBS manual, uh, the, the Navtech manual which is available on pilot resources and scheduling page of DeltaNet. Of course, you want to make sure you're in the correct month and choose whether you want the current or the default bid. Anyway, these two bid groups, the start pairing, award pairings, award line reserve, start reserve, are always there. Uh, there's nothing you can do to change them. Just don't even worry about it. It's just kind of showing you the logic of the program. Before we actually add a bid, we need to have a bid group to add it to. So we're going to click on the Add button. That's going to bring up the Bid Preference Editor. And then you choose Start Bid Group. And then we're going to choose Start Pairings. Now, of course, if you wanted Reserve, you could choose Start Reserve. But uh, we're demoing the Start Pairings. Notice over here we have Start Pairings in blue. That's not a bid yet. We haven't added to it to our bid. It's just showing what we've got selected in the bid preference editor. One way to think about that is it's kind of like uh, an entry into the scratch pad of the FMS. Sorry, DC9 guys. Uh, but uh, it's not actually in your root until you bring it up into your root or your legs page. So we'll go ahead and hit apply, and that brings it over and starts a bid group. I'm going to hit reset. We'll talk more about this in a minute. So uh, let's go ahead and just click on some prefer off dates. You can click individual dates. Uh, it's important when you click dates, put them in order left to right preference. Uh, if you want to click days of the week, you can click the, the Sunday or the Saturday or the, the labels at the top. So again, notice prefer off Sunday and Saturday. It's uh, not a bid yet until I hit apply. Now I've got to hit reset. This this fact that the bids stay and don't clean out every time, and I've got to hit reset. That seems somewhat an irritant, but that's actually the point that I'm going to demonstrate. It's not a bug, it's a feature. So let's go to award pairings, and uh, let's go to layovers. And let's say I'm one of these real senior guys that likes to fly, well, first if I can get it on Tuesday, and maybe then on Monday, three-day trips. So I'm going to go ahead and select... Uh, depart on. Uh, day of uh, week list. And I'm going to choose Tuesdays. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit labor. And let's say the favorite place here that I can lay over is Stuttgart. So I'm going to click on that. Notice how it builds it up here. I still haven't added it to my list. And let's say there are a couple of 48-hour uh, uh, layovers in the bid package. And gee, I love Stuttgart, but I just don't want an inefficient rotation. So I'm going to choose pairing length. I'm going to go for the three-day trips. Okay. So this is what I've got selected over in the various tabs here. I'm going to hit apply. Now I've got that as a bid. Now as I mentioned, it's rather irritating that uh, this stays from bid to bid. However, as I mentioned also, this is a feature. Now if I want to add uh, another city that I also want the three days departing on Mondays, I don't have to go and click everything again. So let's say if I can't lay over in Stuttgart, uh, you know Copenhagen's pretty good. So let me click on Copenhagen. 
Now see how it's brought it up here? This is what I've got selected. I add it to the bid. And then let's say after that I want uh, Athens. Well then if I can't get that, well, you know, if I can't get any of those threes, well, I'm willing to go out on Monday instead. So I click on Monday, deselect Tuesday, and let me go back to Stuttgart again. And then let me select uh, Copenhagen again. And then uh, let me select Athens again. So even though I can't put them left to right priority on the same line, I can rather quickly uh, click through and just add preference after preference. The fact that these bid choices are persistent from bid to bid is actually a feature once you realize the point of the whole thing. And I could continue on doing various iterations of this, saying four days or departing on other days. But this is just kind of a quick little demo to show you one of the features that isn't oftentimes appreciated. Thanks. Hope this helps.